So you want to get into cryptocurrency? Are you sure? Okay, let's go. But first, I must tell you that I am not a professional. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. In no particular order, number one, Cardano, the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Cardano is changing the way business is done. Now in these five cryptos, I'm not going to go deep into the tech and software behind them. In my opinion, you don't really need to fully understand how it works, but you need to evaluate the impact they bring and the problems they solve. Cardano aims to use blockchain technology to decentralize many ways of doing business. For example, have you heard of NFTs? NFTs use Cardano's blockchain to verify transactions and verify ownership of NFTs. Other uses of Cardano's blockchain include tracking logistics, providing a way to store credentials or documents that are verifiable and clamping down on counterfeit goods. Cardano is currently trading at $2.50 at the time of recording, about the cost of a bus fare. The second cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, the oldest, the first cryptocurrency. Around half of the total crypto market cap is tied up in Bitcoin. It's within the last few years that major companies announced their accumulation of Bitcoin some even implementing it as a way to buy products. The original use case for Bitcoin was to be an online peer-to-peer -peer currency, but many now call it digital gold. This is because like gold and unlike fiat currency like dollars, euros and pounds, there is only a finite amount of Bitcoin that can ever be mined in circulation. If you want more depth into Bitcoin, Watch this video in the top right corner to get a more in-depth explanation on how it actually works. Bitcoin is currently trading at $45,000, which is around the price of a Tesla Model 3, which funnily, you actually could have bought with one Bitcoin a few months ago. The third cryptocurrency is Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is the older sibling of Cardano. Both are trying to do the same thing, provide a blockchain for smart contracts and decentralized apps to be built upon. But Ethereum did it first. See, although it was not the second crypto created, it is now the second largest by market cap. The advantage Ethereum has to Cardano and any other similar crypto is because they were the first to do it. They were the first to build this type of blockchain. Many people have built systems on Ethereum's blockchain and perhaps don't want to go through the hassle of changing, even if Cardano or any other blockchain is more efficient. This is most likely benefiting Ethereum because many people are not happy with the high fees that come with using Ethereum's network. But Ethereum have said that they are looking to fix this through network upgrades. Ethereum is currently trading at $3.4,000, which is around the average rent of a two bedroom apartment in London. Before we get onto the fourth cryptocurrency, just want to say if you're enjoying this video and getting value from it, please consider liking and subscribing the video. Also, if you want to start your cryptocurrency journey, I recommend Swissborg. This exchange is how I actually started on my cryptocurrency journey. It is very beginner friendly. The interface is very suited to beginners. It's not complicated at all. You can sign up through the link in my bio and win up to 100 euros in Swissborg's coin when you deposit 50 euros or equivalent in your currency. Now onto the fourth cryptocurrency, that is Utrust. You may never heard of Utrust before. It is the 287th cryptocurrency by market cap. But to give you a basic overview, I can give you this analogy. PayPal is a payment system that customers can use to buy from merchants without connecting their main private bank account. Now imagine if PayPal did this for crypto and there you have Utrust. So you can pay for products using crypto by putting it in the Utrust wallet and your main private reserve of crypto is left untouched. As a consumer, some may not see the benefit of buying with crypto because you may pay for something and then the crypto goes up in value the next day but merchants definitely do see the value. Utilizing blockchain, Utrust eliminates the chance of fraud, provides faster transaction speeds, and takes 1% in fees from merchants. Utrust have access to over 180 countries worldwide and have partnered with football clubs, airlines, and luxury brands. Utrust is currently trading at 40 cents, which is roughly the same price as two apples. And the last crypto for today is Chili's. Chili's is very different from other cryptos mentioned in this video, as this one targets a specific group of people, fans, fans of football clubs, UFC, professional esports teams, motorsport, cricket, and basketball. So what Chili's does is it partners with sports teams to set up tokens with them. Through Chili's website, socials, Fans of these teams can buy tokens. With these tokens, fans can have the ability to participate, influence, 
and vote in club decisions, as well as receive exclusive benefits non-token holders don't receive. They can also sell and trade their tokens. A perfect example of this happened a few weeks ago when it was announced PSG had signed Messi. PSG's fan token went up 200% on that news of Messi signing. We all know people who are fanatic about their teams and I think they are the people Chili's is marketing to. Coming to the end of this video, I really enjoyed making it because it gave me a refresher of how early in adoption this space is. If you're skeptical on crypto, it's not my job to convince you, but a country just started to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Companies and hedge funds are acquiring not just Bitcoin, but others too. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment saying which of these five cryptos you think is the most useful. See you next time. Bye bye.